Good lord, 30k? Jesus Christ. <sighs> that was a pretty good movie. I'll, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. But anyway, let's let's play some Overwatch 2 now. I, a couple hours have passed by. I'm sure the queues are better now. I should be able to play very easily. Let, let's, let's play some Overwatch. Listen here, you piece of sh- So, I wasn't planning to make one of these post-commentary type of videos today. I was planning on playing Overwatch 2 with my friends and giving you guys some Overwatch 2 funny moments if I could, but unfortunately, because of the horrible launch that this game has had, the most I can do is tell you how my Overwatch 2 launch day went. As you can see, it started with 30,000 players ahead of me in queue, and I waited there. And hell, I watched a two hour long movie, and guess what? I kept trying and trying, and the game wouldn't let me in. And none of my friends were allowed to get in either. We all just sat there as one sad, sad little tribe of people. And eventually, it happened. I got into Overwatch 2. This was the serotonin boost I needed to get through the day. I was a man down on his luck. I gave my last dollar away to Blizzard. And boom, I won the Mega Millions. And I played three games, and I felt glorious in those three games. I felt like a champion. I felt like I had just won the Super Bowl, and 30 gallons of Lime Cucumber Gatorade was just flowing down my body. And then it hit me like a train. I was immediately disconnected from the servers upon trying to load into my third game of Overwatch 2. I read the message telling me I was disconnected and I was in absolute disbelief. I could not believe the bone-chilling information that Aaron Keller, the lead director of Overwatch, had just delivered to my Xbox. I was upset, and all I could think of was to go to Twitter. Not because Twitter's a good place, but because Twitter has updates, and I went to Twitter and I went to Aaron Keller, lead designer and director of Overwatch, and the information I was given was even worse than the goddamn disconnect message that I got. We're steadily making progress on server issues and stability, as well as working through a second DDoS attack. We're all hands on deck and we'll continue to work throughout the night. Thank you for your patience. We'll share more info as it becomes available. Now, I'll tell you that as of recording this, uh, no info was ever given as it was available. So, to know if the servers are fully up and running, I don't know. They might be, they might not be. I mean, I've been completely shattered today. Overwatch 2 has used and abused me, but even through all of the pain it has caused me, I can still tell you that this is actually a very fun game, and I actually enjoy it. Now, this could be an instance of Stockholm Syndrome, and maybe I only like it because it's abused me enough to where I think I love it. But, I'll tell you this, I'm pretty confident that I love it. I mean, it's such a refreshing take on a game, and it doesn't look like it would be. It truly looks like the exact same game, but when you play it, it's surprisingly different. I'll be honest, it's not the same game that you remember playing in Overwatch. It's very similar in some aspects, and if you've played Overwatch 1, you won't have that hard of a time adapting to this game. But even then, you do have to adapt. You can't play this game like how you played Overwatch 1, which is very nice because if you could play it the exact same way and do everything the exact same way, I think that this would actually be a really bad game because it genuinely at that point would just feel like the same game. Thankfully though, you do have to kind of play differently. And because of the fact that it's 5v5 now, and there's only one tank on each team, they reworked all the tanks in a little tiny way so that they can all work as a single tank. And I'll tell you what, the different playstyles that you're allowed to play with now are so fun. I mean, I love playing D.Va as is in Overwatch 1, but now that she's the main tank and you can just have an aggressive team because her defense matrix comes up more, so in a way she can operate like a shield tank because she can just eat a bunch of damage at all times now. You can run an aggressive comp and it can work because you're not just going against double shield every game. And I didn't like the fact that in Overwatch 1, if you didn't run double shield, you were probably going to lose if the enemy team did. You kind of had to run stuff, and any competitive game that you have to run stuff in is automatically going to be less fun, because you want to play a hero shooter to play your favorite heroes, and if your favorite heroes aren't quote-unquote meta, 
and they're gonna just get you killed and you're gonna lose every game. I mean, it's just not gonna be fun. But I think you can genuinely play any hero you want in this game and you'll do well. There's no character that I can say right now is just flat out bad. And one of the coolest things about 5v5 in Overwatch 2 is just the way that people are running different team comps because they're trying to figure out what works and it oddly just feels like how overwatch one did at launch where people were just using any hero they wanted just because they wanted to see how they worked in a team now obviously my opinion on overwatch 2 was a little bit scuffed because i didn't get to play a lot of the game but from what i got to play it really was a fun time and i think that with friends this is going to be a really enjoyable time so Hopefully the next time you guys see me, I'm actually playing with my friends instead of telling you about how me and my friends got destroyed by Blizzard Entertainment and their fantastic servers.